Welcome back, guys. We are officially on episode number 12, podcast number 12 for our Guild of Guardians podcast. But we are officially NFC, non-fungible cast uh, podcast, which we came up with our name last week. So it's all official now. So this is our Guild of Guardians, uh, Guild of Guardians episode 12 under the NFC non-fungible cast uh, banner. Okay, so tonight we have a very, very, very special guest, Step Fam. We, uh, you guys are, I'm pretty sure if you're in the Guild of Guardians community, uh, you're very familiar with uh, Step Fam. He does the Twitter spaces, very active in the community. Uh, great, great Guild of Guardians member. We are here with uh, WT, partner in crime. You know WT. Uh, Step Fam, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, let the community know. If in case they don't know who you are, uh, let them know who you are. All right. Uh, thank you for having me on. Um, Capone and beautiful name, WT as well. And I see I love the name. Uh, by myself, I'm Steph Fam, uh, senior moderator for GOG as well as Twitter tri- uh, ambassador. Um, I do Twitter spaces on weeklies on Twitter. Uh, usually do them schedulely, but not so often now. I've got some big stuff coming up that I'm honestly just working on. And I want to really want to get into. So we got into downtime now that the demo is over. So uh, I've been RPG gamer all my life almost. I've been I mean, I grew up with RPG and anime and just video games. Like, overall, I started real young. I had a Game Boy Color back in first, second grade. I had game. I had Pokemon from there. It went to, like, oh, I want this Pokemon. I'm like, oh, I got this game. I can play I can play this game, get this Pokemon, trade it to you, right? So from then on, it, like, scaled. I'm like, oh, and overnight, I would just have go out, collect Pokemons, and just trade them out. And then over there, I started having an evolution of loving and vibe of games and I just now, I'm going to school. I'm a full-time student now while being a stay-at-home dad for a game on development. So now I'm getting to the point where, like, I have so much fun playing games I want to make now on my own and kind of, like, recreate my inspiration of playing these other games that I really enjoy to now make my own and, like, maybe, like, have my family involved. Like, hey, look, this is what I used to play. Have my kids involved. Now, like, mm-hmm. this is your dad growing up in this game and this is what he played. And not, you know, I just got big, big plans for, like, um, yeah, being in a space now, I just like having these other people coming in, these builders, like I now enjoy it. And with GOG, the community, just watching people going out of their way and like making their own uh, content like you two, like NFC, like you guys came a long way. Episode one, now we're at double digits. Next year from now, um, 52. So in like two years, we'll be double, we'll be triple digits. So it's going to be like real fun to like watch you guys grow as one well and like, telling everybody, like, oh, wh- who are these people who are NFC? Like, oh, these people came up from the get go. Like, freaking, they, they find these gems, they'll bring people up into the community and just like explain to them how your involvement in the community. So, like, watch, watching you two as well and just being here involved now is like Dang. almost like. It's, it's nice. It's Thank nice. you, man. No, listen, you know us. We're all about community building. That's what it's about. And, and, and we love right, getting yeah. to know the other people in the community and the other builders as well. And, and listen, you're telling us, you're giving us the credit. We got to give you credit too. You're building, you're taking that Twitter space and you're building it there. So we're all trying to help build this community to what it is. And, and I love how you said, you know, we're going to look back uh, one day and be like, man, this is when it all started or whatever, you know? And, and I agree. I, I feel the exact, exact, exact same way. I like how you were saying, um, you know, about games that you played when you were a kid and then now you have your kids and it's like, oh, I used to play this. I'm the same way. Like, like with you know Pokemon or even Disney movies or whatever it is, it's like it's so smart how those those brands are kind of like built because it's like now you're older and you have kids like I have kids. I'm watching Pokemon with my kids, you know what I mean? And these are shows that I watched or whatever, you know what I mean? So it's like or Disney movies. I'm watching you know Lion King with my kids. That was my favorite movie when I was a kid. So it's like it it recycles itself. And I like how that you said that. Uh, WT, what's new and exciting with you? We're gonna get back to you in a second, here, Stefan. What's going on, WT? What you saying, baby? Oh, uh, not much. Uh, was looking forward to this. Uh, just listening to what Steph Fam had to say. Uh, yeah, I, I I totally agree with like a hundred percent of what he's saying. Uh, it really, it's been a big reflection point for me in the last uh, couple of weeks here of like everything that's happened in just a little over a year of time. I mean, I didn't even I didn't even know Capone last year this time, and uh, just how much everything has grown in the space and watching all these different people in this space grow, including step fam and the things he's doing from where he started out in the community. And it was just, uh, it, it's, it, it's fun to watch because like when Capone and I got together and we started, uh, getting into this, I think a big thing that we wanted to stay always grounded to was being about the community and bringing the community with us as much as we can. We want to have on the big names and the devs and all that stuff to give information, but at the same time, we want the community to come with us and we want to separate ourselves from the other content creators. Like we're about community and it's, it's one of our core things. And I'm, I'm so glad you're on and I'm so glad 
to watch you in this experience. So I'm just full of positive vibes right now. Yeah, we've always and we and we brought you up a few times in our podcast too. You know, big, you know, we gotta say shout outs to our fam. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is. Because again, like like uh, like WT was saying, we want everyone to grow. We want everyone to build. We're in the and at the end of the day, we're all building this together. We're all in the same community together to build together. And and one of the biggest things, and, and I say this all the time, it's like you know, uh, whenever anybody's it, people have this weird uh, um, you know view on things and in, in just in life. I'm not saying in here in general, but in life where it's like someone has to fail for you to get ahead. And I don't like that. I don't like that view on on life. I, I think everyone can kind of you know help each other uh kind of thing uh Stefan, yeah so you said you were working on a game i don't know if you want to talk about it or if you can talk about it or whatever but you said you wanted to build a game or something like that you're looking at uh, building a game in the future and getting your kids involved or is that is that something you're saying well i don't want to necessarily i'm not i'm not building a game right now mm -hmm. i'm in the process of just getting my degree and like getting my experience or getting my feet wet yeah. in that field because um there's i mean i can also go on youtube and learn but um i'm in a position now that i'm in the benefit of going to school for free almost so i'm gonna use that my benefits to just take my advantage so i'm hedging my best in just going to school and using my benefits and after what i learned i would want to create my own almost indie game because i was growing up once i kind of understood like the whole major separation of major companies like nintendo um sega and like those big names mm -hmm. uh, i started looking more into indie games i started finding really enjoyment like these individuals just take time out of the day to create something that they love and you can kind of tell like their passion and they'll like they'll keep updating it and they'll just add like what they they created they create their their game so right so i'm in their world now like oh i want to experience what you like what like what what are you like i want to be inside your mind right? right so my spin is like whatever i grew up with i want to take that make my own step fam spin to it in a way cool. um i mean it's gonna be like nothing major let's say it's just gonna be like a regular indie game i mean that's like in the years to come it's probably like decades <laughs> from now but it's like I'll tell you something. I'm really just want to like just get involved now in the creation of right. creating games because now I play I'm playing so much games now like so I'm like oh uh, I want to play it now like my kids now are playing it I can now experience playing it through them like why not right 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 get involved in the, the, rep the reproduction of it I'll tell you I'll tell you a funny story man this is like this happened like last year so my kids were they were doing like the with COVID and stuff they were getting, getting schooled from home okay so my kids doing I guess like a coding class or I don't know what it is man. And he builds this little game, and it's like it looks like old school Pokemon, like from like the, the Game Boy. And, and there's like a guy walking around. I'm like, "Yo, you did this?" And he's like, "Yeah." I said, "I'm like, you did this." And he's like, "Yeah." It's like literally a character walking around. He's controlling this character walking around the map. And I was like, "You did this?" He's like, "Dad, it's just coding." And I was like, "What do you mean it's just coding?" <laughs> the kid's eight years old, and he's telling me, "Dad, it's just coding." Like, what is this? So I'm just like, you know, school's a little different, I guess, now than it was when I was, at, you know, eight years old. Because he's like, "Dad, it's just coding." Like he's talking to me like I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Like it's nothing. Anyway, so yeah, man. Uh, anyway, you know, it's crazy. So anyway, uh, yeah, I want to talk about <laughs> I want to talk about a bunch of things here. Um, Alpha, Alpha was a big thing. Just just passed, uh, you know, literally a week ago. Man, I want to talk to you guys about this. I want to hear both your guys' thoughts and, and pros and cons and, and, and just all about it. We're going to break it down. Um, I'll let you guys go first. I have a few things. Like I, I, you know, First of all, I want to say I loved it. I think the gameplay was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, what were the pros and cons? To, I know you guys both hit the, the top 10, right? You both yeah, hit the top 10? Yeah. Step, did you hit number one? Yeah, I did hit number one. You hit number one. All right, talk to us, man. Let's go here. Because you hit number one, you get to go first. How about that? All right. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell us about it. Tell us about the experience, what you thought about Alpha, pros, cons, the way to get to the leader, uh, the top of the leaderboard. Was there like a, you know, loopholes, whatever it is. Explain it to us. Whatever you want to talk yeah, about. Uh, and yeah, congratulations, uh, first of all. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, let's see. For how I got started it was the pros. I said, let's, let's, go, let's go review. So they're reviewing... Um, the pros, it was really fun. It was clean for me. I didn't really bug out too much. I did get stuck. I mean, it's, it is a pre-alpha, so the, the development side. But other than that, it is clean. I mean, I didn't have too much issue other than my phone getting hot. But after you just adjust the settings, you just have GOG playing, and you just, if you manage it, you're, you're good. But um, I didn't have a problem with it. I really enjoyed the game. I was, I, was, I mean, I, I was really, like, I, I had it in my routine. It, GOG was, it, it's crazy how seamlessly GOG was able to fit inside my routine. Just like, like it either just snuck in there, and I I was able to like keep going on with my my day. So like being able to get a taste of that and like knowing what they're building now, just being here for so long, it's just like an excitement. I'm like wow, like these guys. And from what I could tell, Ryan said like this is just like like single digit percentages of what right. you guys are seeing. So I mean like I'm so excited to like 
find out what the team actually built because just this demo, I don't want to like just this demo and how it fit in my lifestyle. Uh, it just it it was beautiful. So I cannot wait to just keep playing it. The cons just other than the bugs, um, it's uh, not nothing too major, nothing too much that would make me not want to play the game. Um, I'm pretty sure I know like for the merging or like the grinding. Once we get the blockchain integration, it'll just like make the game a lot easier. So like. Or like other people just won't struggle as often as they need to. Cause I know as if people mistaking like the easy merges or maybe that one first bug where like the forcing of merging, um, people are trying to find a way around that. So some people did it. Congratulations to them. Some people just like just took it and then that kind of put a taste on a lot of people's mouth, like a bad taste. Almost like oh they're forcing me to merge when I don't want to. So hopefully that aspect was one thing. That's probably one con I would say that I did not like about um. The demo is much, but just other overall overall experience was a blessing. It was it fit perfectly when I was in the airport because I did go to Florida, so it did drop when I was in Florida to Georgia, uh, back to Cali. I was um, you know that just that airport experience. It was a lot of fun. So when I wrote that tweet out saying that GOG has made going back home a lot more so much fun, I'm like, it really was a lot of fun. I mean, I had my kids, my kids were watching me like. It just fit perfectly. So congratulations to the team. I can't wait to, and I can't wait to just see what they're building more. It was good. It was so much fun. Uh, <laughs> I, I loved it too. I'll, WT, you go, you go ahead. You go ahead, buddy. Let's hear it. I, uh, <laughs> I, I knew Stefan was going to be in Florida and I, I, I messaged him or talked to him in discord because I was like, Oh man, it would have been cool if we got to cross paths. But like, right as he was leaving, I was on my way down there. So unfortunately that didn't happen. Maybe another time we got to, yeah. uh, that I think there's a plan in the works. It's kind of on the hush hush, but I, I think there's going to be an East Coast meetup one of these days because it seems like a majority of us are close to or near the East Coast. But I'm getting off topic here. Um, so Alpha just it exceeded my expectations, and there's so much I can say about it and want to say about it. Could but we'd be here for days. Um, I was expecting a lot more crashes, a lot more bugs. I was on the bare minimum phone requirements for it. And I practically, I think I had maybe three things, uh, two crashes where the game just completely froze up. I had to back out, exit it and restart it. And then it was fine. And the other one was something very minor. I forget what it was. That's how minor it is. I can't even remember it. Um, what I did learn on my specific phone, maybe it doesn't for all the other phones that are a little bit higher quality. I had to throw my phone on do not disturb because any messages I got, anything, the phone would just like, it wouldn't lock up, but it gets super choppy and laggy and it would last for a while. So once I threw on do not disturb, I didn't see that again. So overall, just the running, uh, the running operability of it was just beyond my expectations. So that tells me the game itself by itself alone is legit. They're, they're, they're in control of it. And the sky is the bar for the game alone. The real question is down the road, blockchain integration, are they going to be able to get past that hurdle? Everybody, and I mean everybody in this space, is struggling with that. They are not alone. And that is the number one question I have for all these games coming out. How's your team with blockchain integration? So that's, that's to be seen down the road. But for now, the pre-alpha was beyond successful. And I, I don't understand anyone that could look at this and not be super bullish and still hold on to this FUD and be just be so focused on the money part. People are so focused on the money part instead right. of the actual product. They gave you a working product, not only a working, a fantastic working product. Everybody had fun. Everybody had fun. I know I had fun. And they had, I, I think they had the settings dialed down so that we could experience it. I don't think it's gonna be as easy as it was. I don't think it's gonna be easy as the merge. I think everything's going to be ratcheted up, so there's a difficulty and we have a challenge. But uh, in general, everything, just top notch. My hat's off to the team, man. I agree. <clears throat> I agree. So I have a few things I want to say, too. I agree. I completely agree. I think the alpha was great. I think it was phenomenal. Um, the gameplay was smooth. This is a pre-alpha. And this is what people got to remember. This is pre-alpha. Okay, This game was playing as smooth as a fully released game. This is only pre-alpha. Um, so <clears throat> very, 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 very smooth. I personally, and, and I, I can only speak for myself, I didn't come across any bugs. The, actually, the only bug I did come across, one time I merged and I didn't get the hero. That was it. One time I merged, I didn't get the hero. And I think it was like the epic hero, whatever. Whatever. It's not a big deal. It's alpha, pre-alpha. I didn't really care. Um, the pros, the game was amazing. And like you said, um, 
a lot of times, okay, here's the thing. A lot of times these games focus on the money part, okay? Which I get it. People are investors and stuff like that. But the game sucks, okay? The problem is the people are focusing on the money so much that they don't focus on the game and the game sucks and then nobody wants to play the game. It becomes boring, stale. It dies out. People just sell it because like, I don't want to play anymore. Guild of Guardians game is, is so good. Like the game itself is so good. That's going to keep people wanting to play. And I love how they say play and earn. There is some questions like with the, and obviously the merging, they, they sped it up a lot. Like there's no way you're going to be able to merge to a legendary in a week. There's no way they're going to do that. That's like sped up a, a lot. I'm sure. Uh, I, I believe the merging was sped up a lot. They didn't have the fatigue fast factor in. You got to remember that. So there was the fatigue factor that wasn't implemented. Uh, energy boosters weren't implemented. <clears throat> um, you know, we didn't get to use our own heroes. Like, there's so many factors. But I absolutely love the the uh, pre-alpha. I think the, the gameplay... The, if if that was released today, the game would be amazing. And it's not even close to done. Don't forget, we only got to do up to Brimstone 12. There's a bunch of levels we didn't get to touch. So, people are saying, uh, you know, some people... Maybe one of the biggest complaints was, oh, it was repetitive. Well, <clears throat> yeah, this is a pre-alpha. They're not letting you play the full game. This is only partial parts of the game. This is only, like, levels 1 and 2. You know what I mean? So, of course, you know, and, and when they... The one thing I got to say is the lead leaderboard as as appreciative as i am that the leaderboard was there i'm very appreciative of it i really 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 am uh you know they didn't have to give back to us but i felt like it almost worked against what the pre-alpha is for because you're there trying to play to get bugs you're trying to find the bugs right but when they put a leaderboard in everyone doesn't care about these bugs now, who cares about finding bugs at this point they're trying to get on that leaderboard they're trying to you know be number one they're trying to get more tokens i understand i get it I also am very appreciative that they did that. They didn't have to do that, but I felt like it was almost working against what they were trying to achieve. So now only people are doing Brimstone 4 and Brimstone 12. You know, people are trying to flex their fastest time on Brimstone 12, and people are trying to get on the leaderboard for Brim Brimstone 4. What about 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Nobody's playing those levels. Nobody. So what if there's a ton of bugs in those levels or things, you know? Nobody cared about those levels because it didn't benefit them. And that, that you know, I kind of felt it worked against what they were trying to do, but I'm very appreciative. So I don't want to sound like I'm not appreciative because I mean, sh give me tokens. I mean, I'll take them, you know, but you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but overall, I think the game play was phenomenal. Um, if it were released today, it would be a fun game. And I like, and at first I remember when, when they first talked about how the dungeons were gonna be like one, two minutes long, WT and I were like, yeah, I don't know how we feel about that. Like, it's fast. Because, you know, I've played Dungeon Crawlers. My, I love Diablo. I've played Diablo for years and years and years. And, you know, you can't beat a dungeon or whatever in two minutes. It's just there's no momentum. But now playing the game and having it in my hand, it's like, I understand now. I understand. Okay, two minutes. And I actually prefer that because you're not locked in to playing this game for 20 minutes. What if something comes up and you got to turn on? You're like, oh, man, I got to go. You know, it's like, okay, I got two minutes. Quick, you know, boom, you can do it. You're done the done the mission, you move on. You can turn the game off. And I like that. So I didn't, at first when I heard they were gonna be two minutes long, I was like, I don't know, I don't understand where the momentum, how are you gonna how are you gonna get into the level if you're you you start it and you're done in two seconds later? But I understand now. So I'm the kind of guy too, I gotta I gotta see it, play it, feel it, then I understand. And I complete and I think it's the perfect play. Um yeah, I, I think it's the perfect, perfect play. So again, I think I think the alpha went really, really well. I think overall everyone was happy with it. I mean, how could you not be? Um people were saying, you know, it's a little repetitive. Of course, you're only allowed to play a couple levels, of course, it's gonna be repetitive. When the game releases, there's gonna be a lot more stuff going on, you're gonna be using your own heroes, and I think that is gonna be a big factor when you actually get to use the ones that you bought like you have this is your hero now you're not just using some borrowed hero right like this is yours you're gonna build it up it's gonna stay built up this is your hero forever and i like that as well so um yeah any last thoughts on uh alpha you guys want to bring up because <clears throat> i thought that was awesome i loved it personally any anything on alpha oh, oh we nope. just lost step fam oh <clears throat> he's back he's back no. welcome back yeah thank you um uh Final thoughts? Uh, no, other than that, uh, thank you, Capone. That was true. Uh, the whole aspect of just 4 and 12s uh, really did block everything. Even I got distracted pretty much. I was like, just almost climbing just to get the next um, Duran. I mean, I got Duran, but I didn't get Farrah, so I was like, oh, I really want Farrah or not. So. Yep. But, uh, it distracted. but other than that, um, I, it was real nice to play the game. Uh, as the leaderboard, it was just mostly just time management. Um, uh tomahawk he messaged me like hey is there any tips my tip i already like i didn't explain it to him but my tip was like if you can't level up more than twice or three times per round then swap your heroes i mean like why you're wasting your energy to climb up these these heroes like i was doing one at a time and then once i was able to like do bring like run bring 12 with just two heroes mm -hmm. and two newbies i mean you just rotate right. around and just 
it makes a lot more sense. So, oh, but Fireball, when Fireball got leaderboard, he got it twice, didn't he? Hey, I think he got it twice. So, shout out to Fireball for yeah, landing yeah. it twice. And he put, a, he put a post, he made a thread on Twitter explaining how he got the first one. And then he did it again. So, I mean, like, if, if you read his his tweet and his thread, he explains it to you. And then I also, almost then, I commented, like, I did exactly just that almost. Like, it just. Yeah. It makes sense. Other than that, pre alpha was fun. It gave um, those that are sweats, I mean, it gave them an upper advantage on how to attack this game. I know there's some people, we got people that are going to play for fun. There are people yeah. that are going to play for money. There's people that are going to play for the competition. So, I mean, GOG covers almost all that in a way. So, on the sweats, though, those that got in early, um, I'm pretty sure they're like, I um, freaking, we got Lion, Lion, Lion Unchained. His Twitch streams, I mean, he broke it down. He spent like almost two hours just like breaking it down. He had a screenshot of the of the map, and then he would like he would like it was like edited, so he would like mark it like okay, this is the line, this is the path that I stay on to attract these er these heroes. So like watching him break it down, I'm like these. There's way more like I mean, I'm an RPG. I mean, I'm, I love RPG. I love video games, but like just watching him break it down, like. I've always paid it for fun, but now like just to watch the competitive and the sweat side of the things like right. like this is the side that's really really gonna be exciting for me at least. And GOG demos had brought that to like to limelight for me at least. So I'm really excited to see where we're going with this. See, I, I'm glad. Yeah, I was in that. I, I watched them play as well. But yeah, I found and I found myself doing the same thing. Not I didn't make the graphs. I didn't make the graphs. <clears throat> but in every level, I knew where I was going to go. It's like you had a certain path. So that's for me personally. It's like you go into the next room, you know, you're going to stand here. You're going to fight here. Then you're going to go this loop and you do that. I never made graphs about it, but you know, you're going to do that, right? It's because that's, you, you find that's the fastest way to go. I think my fastest time, I mean, he crushed it, dude. He, he got like 103 or something like that, 104, which is yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. The fastest I did was 109. And it's funny because that was my first run. My first run on Brim 4 was 109 and I didn't beat it. That was my first run and that was it. <clears throat> but yeah, no, that was really good. I, I watched that as well. I was there as, as well for that. Uh, WT, final thoughts on uh, the alpha? Yeah, listen, you guys talk. The uh, there, there's th three three major things that come to mind. First, uh, what you're talking about, Capone, quality of life, the quick matches. I I'm big fan of quality of life. I've been in other games where they just consume so much time in your day. Right. And uh, for most of us, I think most of us involved in this are technically adults i don't know if we're all adults i that's questioned about me all the time for my wife but <laughs> quality of life matters uh for us managing our real real life that we got going on uh the next point was i don't know how fireball figured that out maybe he's an expert gamer or something but like i would not have been on the leaderboard if it wasn't for firebolt's recommendations i went by his recommendations and i still made a few mistakes when i was doing it and i still was able to take fifth even with those few mistakes so he figured out the process I hope GOG down the road doesn't structure tournaments or uh, contests like that to where you can gain the system. I don't know if it's possible for them to not because it is a fun thing to do. So how are they going to find that healthy balance? I'm not sure. I hope they do. And lastly, um, oh, man. Oh, what I've been saying for a while, I really believe it. Deep rosters matter. For me, I got to Brimstone 3. I was good. I tried Brimstone yeah. 4. I got my butt handed to me. Yeah. And it wasn't even close. I was like, I can't go back in there. I knew. When I got Rowan, it changed the game for me. Rowan was a game changer for right. me. And, and obviously, Morax was a game changer too. But me getting Rowan first, I would have not gotten past uh, Brimstone 4 without him. So like I've been saying for a while, deep rosters was matter is how i think it's this is gonna go yeah absolutely and i think <clears throat> like i said we didn't get to use our legendary heroes or anything like that the levels are only going to get progressively harder that's just the way it is i remember i think it was brimstone 4 was like there was kind of like a like a, a big jump in difficulty and then it might have been like 7 or 11 i don't remember there was there was two spots i found where the difficulty just jumped you know what i mean like i was i was sailing through sailing through and then i hit mm -hmm. brimstone 4 and it was like whoa it put me in check and it might have been like 7 or 11 i don't remember which one it was but it was like yo sit down you know what i mean i'm like okay we're relax you know gotta level up a little bit so uh but and again this is only we only got to play those there's so many more levels down the road we haven't tried so yes you're right the the rosters are gonna matter legendaries are gonna be key it's gonna make it easier or you're gonna have to do a lot of grinding you know there's gonna be i, I feel like if you don't have a deep roster like legendaries and stuff like that Yes, eventually you'll be able to play those, but you're going to be grinding those epics and 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 rares and stuff to a higher level, a uh, very high level before you can do that. I think it's going to be that's going to be the way it plays. But yeah, I, I I'm uh, from what I see in my experience in, in games I've played my entire life too. I think this game has so much potential. 
Um, I, I can't I can't say it enough, man. This game has just so much potential. Best play to earn game I've ever played. Ever, not even close. It, and the beauty of it is. It doesn't feel like a play-to-earn game. A lot of these play-to-earn games, they feel like play-to-earn games. They look like play-to-earn games. They're very, you know, this was like an actual AAA, a beautiful game with play and earn attached to it, which is, that's what you want, you know? You don't want it to be focused on the play-to-earn, and then it's like the game is secondary. This was a game first, the other stuff came, and I love that. I love that. Okay, uh -huh. I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about the prices, man. That's Speaking of deep rosters and... Yo, man, the prices, we're, we're at like, uh, it's like it's Black Friday or, dude, it's like 50% off, you know, two for one deals. The guild token is at what, 0.4-ish? And, and like not long ago, it was at over one ETH, right? Uh -huh. So uh, I want to talk about what, okay, so here's here's my thing. It's like the alpha, the pre-alpha was incredible, okay? I thought it was like, literally, I was blown away. Everyone's blown away. But then all of a sudden, the prices started dipping. I thought, personally, it would do the opposite. People are going to start playing and be like, yo, okay, these heroes are important. I'm going to start picking up, especially Morax. I thought Morax's price was going to go up. Rowan's price was going to go up. I thought those were going to go up a little bit because once people played them and they're like, yo, I need this character. Rowan's a, Rowan's a uh, healer. I want a healer. I'm going to go pick it up. But it didn't really do that. It actually kind of went the other way. So, uh, Stefan, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think? What do you think happened with the prices after the pre-alpha? Um, the fact that uh, the whole, they're like, okay, well, yeah, the game is fun. Um, I know, well, before you, uh, you guys... WT broke it down that like we do have the separation, that gap between the actual DGENs of GOG that wants to play the game and have fun. Right. Versus those that want to come in and put hedge their bets and put their money in something that will grow. Um, they thought GOG was that and they didn't get that long vision. So once they play the game, they're like, okay, well, what's next? So they're like, well, we wait. And they didn't like the answer. So I think they just decided to like, okay, well, I'll be back um, some other time. But those that actually are waiting to like those standing on the sidelines, they're like, this is, this is a dream. Like this is not a dream come true, obviously, but it, for some people, this is an opportunity to just scoop up what you need. Because I know the serious guilds, like they're over here, um, just scooping them up. I'm like, okay, well, just keep right. on going. Like that's all right. If you want to come back, you could come back, but you're gonna pay three times, four, five, even five times more than what you sold it for. Then you better not be upset because all you had to do was hold. And if what you thought was a better bet for your money was the right call for you then i mean just that's the consequences of the choices but other than that the prices um these, these are buying opportunities uh, i would always say these are this not financial advice but if you if you're not hurting if you literally got scrap change just just put it just start just like just don't just you could skip you could literally skip like these small purchases like that's why i'm literally learning i'm in the process of now like um now, like, getting sent for Oki, my guild, I just want to, like, be able to support it a lot more. So these some financial cuts that I'm doing that I want to get in. If you really want to get to GOG, this is one of those buying opportunities that can sure. later uh, either be beneficial later down the road, but just know that it can also even go down more. So just don't buy all at once. You know, buy over here, maybe two weeks later, it probably drop down a couple more, and then buy over there. So just dollar cost average, it's usually the game right now. Because we don't know where we're going. We could probably just, we don't know overall as a market as well. So I know a lot of people, we, there's been a talk a lot about, but about liquidity. So a lot of people just want to be able to sell their assets in the possible. So um, right now, since GOG, the demo is over and there's no actual utility with the whole staking and there's no way to benefit the yield from the actual NFTs right now. They just want to just, just go somewhere else. So um, as for price, I mean, this is, I, I'm excited for the price. I mean, I'm excited for the game overall. I never really even look at my portfolio. I know right. what I have. So if anything, I'm just going to get more. And the other day I even asked my wife, like, babe, like I'm now, I'm not even pushing until like, babe, like, like these, I'm not taking no anymore this year. Like last year, like you've been saying no, but now I'm explaining <laughs> it to you. I'm telling you right now, like some of these games you, you don't want to sleep on. Like, like buy, like buy when they're crying, like freaking fill up. He's, fill up your bucket with their tears and then drink it like yes this tastes so good like I, just embrace yourself in that in that discount moment because just just bathe yourself in that red blood uh, i don't dude, know rest of your blood it's like it's crazy i gotta i gotta say you're brave you say no to her man you're brave man i mean i i, I know he said no and i was just like oh man no no i i didn't say no listen man he said no not me man i didn't say it man you're brave i listen i have no affiliation with him i listen Mrs. Stepfam, I have no affiliation with yeah. your husband, man. I didn't say no. I, I just want to yeah. let you guys know, man. Don't come after yeah. me. <laughs> I just yeah. joking. I'm just oh, playing yeah. with you, man. I, 
I love the fill up your bucket with their tears. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. Yeah. I was just I terrified that. once I heard him said when he said no to his wife. I was terrified. I was like, oh sh- okay, man, listen. I don't know what he, I never said that. I just play with you. I just play it, dude. I've got so many thoughts on this. The first one is I am not a financial advisor, and I was clearly wrong about the what these prices are going to do. I thought just like Bruno with as amazing as the alpha was these prices have to go up people have to see that this is a quality product and i was i was 100 percent wrong they went the complete opposite way and would i have liked to have sold in the past to have that liquidity to buy back in and gather even more yes but I'm, i don't have a good crystal ball maybe other people do <laughs> i don't know what's going to happen right. in life and i just try to make my best guesses based on my opinion and my own personal research I've watched this stuff like a hawk. I can't believe it, it's gone down as much. Um, half my assets I'm still up on. My other half of my assets I'm actually down now. So it's been a wash for me. I'm still doing well. I'm not mad about it. Even if they go further, I'm not going to be mad about it. I know what I hold. And I don't know when, but there's going to be like a, a, a flip of the switch moment for this game. And I don't know when it's coming, but I would be terrified if I sold all my assets and recoup my money and even got a little profit, I'd be scared of missing that flip the switch moment where it takes off and it never looks back. I don't know what's coming. It's probably going to be closer towards full game launch or maybe after the next launch and it gets a little bit closer, but you, you can't discount what this game is doing, the team behind it, the money behind it, Big Daddy IMX. 100%. There's just too many positive factors that this... I don't want to say it can't fail, but I like my chances and... I don't want to be on the wrong side of that flip in the switch, man. Yeah, and I, I'm glad you said all that because I was going to bring up too, IMX is no joke. Like IMX is no joke. This is their game. This is their baby. They're taking care of it. Guild of Guardians is talking about bringing on 500 million or 50 million or I don't remember the number anymore. It was, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge, it's a, a number I can't understand, okay? And that's a lot of people. There's not nearly enough heroes, not nearly enough pets, not nearly enough energy exactly. boosters to get these people. Everyone, once this game gets out there, look how popular games like Diablo, Di- Diablo, Path of Exile, all these dungeon crawler games, they're huge. This is a mobile play, play and earn game. Uh, very fun, very easy, quick. Quality of life is there. The team behind it's amazing. I can't see this. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. I'm with you too. I don't understand why the prices are so low. Now, the one thing I do see is once the game comes closer to release, the prices will go up. Once there's that hype and this game's releasing tomorrow, this game's releasing in a week, this game's coming out next month, upcoming play to earn games coming out, you know, all the hype around it. Then people are starting to play it and they tell everybody, yo, come download this game. Then everyone gets onboarded. Then you get these, you know, million players, two million players, five million players, whatever it is. And people are like, yo, this game is good. Then they want to buy their heroes. And then that's when it's like, all right, well, that's when the prices are going to go up. So we're in the stage right now where it's just a waiting game. And and for investors, it's not a fun time because you're sitting there watching the prices go down. But, you you know, and again, I'm not a financial advisor either, but, you know, right now the, there's nothing going on. So why are the prices? There's nothing. There's no reason for the prices to move. But once the hype's around it, once the game is out, once your friends are playing it and they're like, yo, have you heard this game, Guild of Guardians? Yo, check it out. And then they download it. And they're like, yo, this game is fun. I want to buy a hero. Then all these people that are coming in are buying a hero here, buying a hero there, buying a hero there. That floor is getting wiped. And uh, next thing you know, the prices are double, triple. That's, that's the way I see it too. So as of right now, I know people look at the prices a lot. And I, you know, I, looked, I, I haven't really looked at the market, to be honest, because I'm not too concerned. We're very, very early. So I'm not too concerned. But I know people are looking at it and they're panicking and saying, oh man, you know, whatever. I wouldn't even worry about it. I literally would not sweat about it because give it, you know, obviously it's going to be a while because the game's not getting released for a bit, but give it some time and those prices, we're going to be looking back saying, man, I wish I would have, I would have done this now. I wish I would have swept right. the floor now. And I truly, truly, truly believe that. So, and yes, deep rosters, I believe are going to matter. Pets, another thing, pets, we never even got to play with our pets, man. So, mm-hmm. You know, that, that's another, which I'm a little bit surprised. To be honest, I'm a little bit surprised in a way. I am, but I'm not. But I feel like if they would have put some kind of aspect with the pets in there, maybe it would have put some uh, people would be like, okay, I really do need these pets. Because right now, people are still kind of, they have questions about them. You know, yeah, they're important, but what do they do exactly? So I feel like they probably should have put maybe an example in there or something just to give people an idea. Because there was that little circle button by your character. And people were like, is that where you put the pet? Like, what goes there? And, you know, people didn't know. And, and, and I think they should have had a little bit of play at least with, um, you know the the pets. Look, look what happened. Uh, look what happened to the price of energy boosters. I think people mm. got the message about energy because that's the one asset that yep. went up or at least held its value. I mean, yeah, 
Well, we've been saying, I mean, everybody, energy boosters is like, that's been kind of pounded into people's heads. Like you need energy boosters. <laughs> like this yeah. is what you need. And if anything, I, so what I tell people, when people ask me, they come, they say, okay, if, if I have, you know, X amount of dollars, what, what, what should I get? And the first thing I always say is, is energy booster is, is your best bet. You want to start with an energy booster because if you're playing more, you're, you know, earning more or you're playing more, you're having more fun, you know? So why would you, why would you uh, not want to play more? You know, if this is a game you want to play. So yeah, I, um. Yeah, the prices, man. I mean, I mean, it's good for players. It's good for people that want, like, that are in here. Because I'm in here long term. I know you guys are in here long term as well. So it's good for people like us because, it's like, all right, man, it's just a, it's just a, you know, Black Friday sale. You know what I mean? It's just like, yo, all right, let's go, let's go shopping. You know what I mean? It's just a, a good deal is going on. Um, you know, and I, I, I don't understand why people are, are dump, dumping. To be honest, okay. So I want to talk about your Twitter Spaces a bit. Uh, tell us about them, man. Like, when do you do them? How often do you do them? What do you talk about? I know you got Crypto Ninja with you. He's a, he's a buddy as well. Talk to us, man. Um, yeah, so my Twitter spaces, they started last year, I would say October-ish, I believe. It, it was like, I was, I mean, as a Twitter Twitter ambassador, I was like, okay, well, how can I up my Twitter game, right? Because uh, I was slowly getting, like, these followers and, like, you know, just connection, connecting with other people and networking and then the whole going on Twitter, other people's Twitter spaces. And uh, shout out to, like, Capone um, NFT Update, like, just watching his, him take the floor and, like, be able to, like, um, put people on and like just talk to people in the space like and just naturally like get people and bring people up and like have them talk and then the be able to just absorb so many insight from people around the world like you're literally like sitting next to a doctor on your phone like just talking and you're absorbing like <laughs> like you, you could be a janitor i like to say the concept like you're being a you're a janitor at a at a ceo office right but you're literally in the car in the same room as a CEO, right. and they're like, you're they're literally like, you guys are in the same playing field. Like, he's giving you the game, and like, so the the when I started doing the Twitter space, it was more like for the GOG communities, and like, hey, you guys to come out and just get to know each other. Like, we're in the same boat right now. Like, what? Like, what can we do? Let's just have fun. And let bring bring like people in the spaces on now. So like, I'm doing more of a I just like now I have two, two um I have do I do have two um Twitters when I want strictly for GOG because I do am I am now pushing more of a web three on um, Twitter space kind of thing. So um I got with my I got with our moderators for GOG and I gave them some plans. I'm like, hey like this is what I got cooking up for you guys. Uh this is why I'm gonna be pushing on, on this on um, on this platform as well. So uh just the my Twitter spaces I do have a lot of fun with them. I just we go on for hours. I mean we go for three, four I think one time almost five hours. So I could <laughs> I want to get to the point where like I'm able to just like Hey, I'm working. I have like a set of eight hours, like block of, of time, like to set dedicated to the community, my work, or my home, or my assignments. I'm gonna open up a space and let's just all talk about it while we're all doing our own things because Twitter Space literally is an undervalued tool that I have really appreciated. And, and now just capitalizing on that, I just want, to, if I could get in early, like, I just wanna be able to like Web3 Twitter Spaces. This is what I need to get into now so that when, people need to onboard as my using my ma my moderator and my ambassador skills to onboard people onto GOG. I could do the same for for NFTs because I spend hours like in Discord just talking to one individual to make understands that this is how you operate in a space to make sure you're safe. So if I'm able to also open up that platform in the Twitter spaces and that's what I'm gonna do it. So I mean on my as my Twitter spaces I have a lot of fun. We just go on for hours. There's some days where even it hurts my heart to even just close or like Man, I really don't want to close it, but I have to go to bed. And <laughs> man, you guys have been awesome. And even if even if nobody goes up on stage, they just they just sit there. So just like Roxanne, Solomon, Sweat, like this individual yeah, fireballers, GOG Academy, Ninja, like those individual, like like the, my repeats, like they just like the OGs, the, the 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 day ones. I would say like they just come daily. Even if they don't even even though there's, there's some of you that don't come up, they just. just they're listening to me rambling and I, I could ramble for hours. So <laughs> it's crazy. So Twitter twi space has allowed me that. That's it's fu it's funny. You said actually, so the, my, my throat right now is I did a 12 hour stream on, uh, oh, yeah, was it right. yesterday? Yeah. When was it yesterday yeah. before? Yeah. Dude, my throat is yeah. mangled, dude. So I gotta, you gotta forgive yeah. me. 12 hours of time, dude. I trust you. I feel you. And it's like, dude, you can just talk, I, dude. I, I feel you. You talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'm the same way. I can just talk and talk. It's getting me to stop talking, is 
is the problem. So my throat is mangled. Uh, but I feel you, dude. And no, you do a really, really, really good job. I've def I've been in there as well. I've been in those Twitter spaces as well. You do a very, very good job. And yeah, I do want to give big shout outs to Roxanne and Solomon Swear and Sanjuro and, and Fire, but all these guys. Actually, I do want to bring them up. I do want to bring them up because there's people in the community that are doing amazing things. And like we say, we build this community together. And I want to say Sanjuro is doing this amazing art. Actually, there's a piece he's doing. Man, listen. So he was he was actually in the stream when I was doing the 12 hour stream. And uh and I didn't know he was doing this. He starts doing a sketch of me. Yo, man. I mean, he added a, a couple, you know, made my arms a little bigger. Maybe he made them a little bigger than they are. You know what I mean? Just a tiny bit. You know, it was close. But, yo, man, uh, the art is sick, dude. The guy is so talented. Uh, yeah, Firebolt makes those amazing uh, graphics. Oh, my God, dude. I actually hit him up. I was like, yo, man, listen. Uh, if you if you want, like, I mean, obviously, I pay the guy. say, yo, listen, and I, I got a Twitch stream, like, set up my graphics if you want to build my graphics for me man we'll, we'll do mm -hmm. something we'll work some out the guy is talented man uh but yeah so i didn't want to catch up about your twitter spaces and stuff but yeah the um dude it was uh i love the twitter spaces you do a really good job uh i know you say like you rambled something you just talk man and it's a talent it's a skill to be able to sit there and carry a conversation for that long you're sitting there talking for five hours dude it's not easy people might think it's easy you're just going up there and talking well you got to talk for five hours you got to keep people as interested for five hours it's a talent man and you have that you have that skill for sure so yes uh make sure Sure you guys check out those twitter spaces i mean you're gonna learn a lot some of it's gog some of it like it says web3 uh, you know and i get it and that's like a, like you know every, we're all everyone's trying to expand too you know you can't just lock yourself in one spot you gotta expand you know and uh the space excuse me the space is growing you gotta grow with it um you know what we didn't mention today which i'm a little disappointed in myself is the beautiful um worm the little caterpillar on uh the little caterpillar on uh, on your lip there uh wt what's it's uh <laughs> It's according to my daughter, according to my daughter, and she's still in denial, she says it's fake, which is hilarious because I had a full beard for like two weeks, but this she can't accept, <laughs> and uh, my wife's not a fan of it, and we had a conversation before we started this, Bruno said it's the same thing as household, Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, guys, I'm getting high fives at work from guys about it, but like all the ladies in my life, they're just like, nah, that's gotta go, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't associate with you. I can't, I, I'm not, I don't want to drive a van with no windows. Probably, I'll probably end up in jail. <laughs> Dude, I tell you. I know how it looks, but I'm okay with it. But, uh, Dude, I, so my kids play hockey, and uh, I'll tell you something. The hockey moms love the mustache. I'll tell you right now. Hockey moms love mustaches. And, really? and yeah, the hockey moms and the guys. Anybody else is, oh, you got to get rid of that thing. Man. You got to get rid of that thing. <laughs> you got to get rid of that thing. But, yeah, no, I love it, man. I, I'd give you a high five right now if I could, man. Uh, you know, but, yes, I wanted to – another thing I wanted to do was give big shout-outs, man. Big shout-outs uh, to Sanjuro, your beauty, solemnly swear, uh, Roxanne, uh, Chichi, Fireball. I mean, the name's Bosley, Tomahawk. Toad, I, dude. There's so many crypto ninja, dude. I don't know. There's a million people I want to shout out. Honestly, man, you know who you are, and I appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, being a part of the community, helping build the brand. You know, every building the community, man. Like, you know who the you know who the people are that are here for Guild of Guardians long term. And uh, you know, we got to give big shout outs to them. Big love for sure. Um, yeah. Anything you guys want to add up on the uh, uh, on the end of it? WT. I got a question for uh, Stefan or a comment. Uh, you guys had Artifact, uh, not Artifact Company, but people from the Artifact community on your last Twitter spaces. It was Your last Twitter space was like three hours and 45 minutes long. And I actually appreciate it because I turned it on at like two in the morning where I was at. And I'm just, I got the pedal to the metal. I finished off the top of Florida. I got almost all the way through Georgia by the time it was done. And it was a good one, man. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's fun to see how far your Twitter space has progressed since when you first started, because I was listening back then and where it's at now. You guys have really started focusing on collabs with other communities. Is that something that you guys plan on keep doing? And what's the process, if you have any, for figuring out who you want to bring on? Because we were talking about, I brought it up a couple of times about Artifact and GOG doing something since we got some ladies that are into fashion in this community. Talking to you, Caitlin. And uh, Kalia, you know, mm -hmm. I keep bringing it up. Let's yep. make it happen. But what's yep. your guys' process for doing collabs? Because I, I wouldn't mind uh, get trying to see if I get somebody on there with you guys. Oh, man. Uh, dude, I mean, man. Uh, so, dartboard? <laughs> yeah, really. So, I don't, I don't want to give too much information. Okay. But the way I want to, the way we're going about this is we have to, this, we have community members. So, the way GOG have their builders, right? There's artifact. Artifact have their own builders as well, and in their own community, they have their own Twitter spaces, and they just come, they 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 have an idea. Someone has an idea, 
and then someone add water to it, and someone add fertilizer, and then someone add the sun. So everyone's coming over here feeding nutrients to this one seed, and then that makes a beautiful flower tree, and then you can root the fruit, the fruit out of it. So, the, so pretty much like we just want to get communities out there that are really serious about building a Web three, and we know that artifact and Nike and though that community itself yeah. is is just huge. So. The, just be able having them on board on my space has been really a graceful uh moment i'll, I'll say a, a milestone for me because like this is what i want in the space like hey let's get other communities on here uh wt when you mentioned about like how i want to like start like what i'm looking for uh last y yesterday i did a tweet about uh the or the other day i did a tweet about having moderators like having moderators newbies or moderators vet or veterans moderators uh, for web3 at least to come holler at me because I wanted like I wanted this this other spaces that I've been to that I've met other moderators and we've shared stories on moderate on modding for Web three communities and like what's your favorite what's your favorite like what do you like about it? what could be improved in this community and what can we do for our community to benefit um to uh, make the project even a lot of more a bigger success so having a platform and with my Twitter spaces I want to be able to like have the builders almost like almost like if you're on Twitter and you are moderating for this community or your community manager or your software developer like just come on board like give us your insight on like what's it like being a Web three like what's being like inside of the Web three um, community because the community is like this everyone have fun like they are talking chit chat getting to know each other but like to the the time and energy that these guys actually put like just the inside scoop and as a senior moderator now I mean like. I don't. I mean, it, it's a lot of it's a lot of work for Web three communities. It's just overwhelming. So now it is overwhelming, and you, that's why, like this morning, I went on a hike, and like that's where I find my zen. Like I have to like people like yo, Stefan, touch grass. I'm like, no, I'm gonna go hike. So <laughs> I want to get that elevation view. You're like this is what I like. So, um, so like I want to like make sure that my platform now for Stefan or even on my Twitter space is just like just have. Like if you're modding, if you're moderating for a, a community, just come on board. Like I want to get other moderators. Like just give it. De let's dedicate this this space only for moderators. Who you got to come up here? No shilling or no, like people just come up and show like, hey, right. I want to show myself pin. Like there's a lot of there is like a negative. There's a dark side to like the Twitter spaces. So that I don't want to get into. There's people like, oh, I could get so much views and followers, or I could get so much attraction if I go this route, but. Yeah. For me, like that's not why I saw in GOG the way we came up from a few hundreds that me and WT saw. Like we were a few hundred people in the Discord, like watching at six figures in the Twitter and the Discord, and just watching how they progress and like watching new the new people come in. It's just like like the more we all get together, like this is this is not the space to like actually be separated, like trying to like exactly. flex on like oh I'm, how far I can make it by on my own. Like the 100%. Web three is gonna. You cannot. You can't really do this by yourself. You really have to like. Hey, yep. I, I, I see you're working. I'm working on the same way. How can we get together to make this even a better experience? Because why not even go further? Like, why not even improve? If there's, if there's room for improvement, like why, why not improve on it? 100, like, 100 agree. Yeah, and we talk about this all the time. It's, like it's all about community. We build each other up. That's just the way it is, man. That's the way I see it. That's the way. That, and, and I wish. And, and and like you say, there is a dark side to it. Where people are very selfish, and and you know, it's uh, and they look out for themselves. And, you know, and, and and to be honest, I feel like the people that come together, like you know, we come all come together. We all do different things, and we we work together. And we it, that's the way to go. I, personally, I think that's the way to go. I've always been that way. WTs, and that's why WT and I connected. Like this, our podcasting kind of just happened. It wasn't planned. It wasn't like you know, we just we had similar ideas. We were just talking. Next thing I was like, hey man, I we, we really enjoyed that, and then let's build it together, you know. So uh, yeah, no, I feel you, man. And you're very, very well spoken. I mean, you're very knowledgeable, and I love how you said it, all that stuff. And, and I and I'm totally on board with that. I totally agree with that. You know, everyone has to have that piece of that puzzle, uh, you know. And then when it all comes together, boom, that puzzle is complete. And I and I and I really like that. Um, is there anything else you wanted to, to ask WT? Anything you want to bring in, bring up? No, man. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it, and uh, look forward to your next Twitter Spaces. Uh... I really like uh, listening to him. Even if, even if I'm sleeping or whatever, I go always go back and listen to recordings to see what happens. So right awesome job, because that's the thing. So yeah, I think yeah, you do them a lot of the times when I'm I'm streaming myself. So I can't actually be there live, but I definitely go back and 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 listen to them as well. So yeah, it's uh, it's at the timing, and that's the thing with this one thing. We, and WT talk about this all the time with this the timing, dude. Like a lot of times we're doing uh, podcasts. <laughs> it's one in the morning. You know, people are in Australia. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like we're doing it at one in the morning, and it's like, man, I stream at night. I'm done my stream. I had I had my stream at one in the morning. It's like, all right, I gotta go do a podcast. You know, it's like, 
Might have just started. But yeah, it's the timing in this industry. You know, it's it never sleeps. The 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 web three crypto space never sleeps. It's 24 hours and and it's uh, but yo, you gotta take care of that mental health. Like you're saying, you know, go on the hikes and stuff. That's that's huge. Mm-hmm. Gotta take care of yourself as well. Uh, because you can definitely get burnt out. Uh, all right. So anything you want to say, Stefan, on, the, on uh, any final words, anything you want to close up with? Um, uh, other than just yo, thank you guys for having me on. I've been watching you guys for so long. Uh, I mean, I mean, I met WT since the beginning of, of GOG. Capone, you coming up to the community has been, has been like almost like that fire that WT do, had does say. Like you, you come in with the energy. Your Twitch stream are, are on fire. Thank you, bro. Your energy. Uh, I mean, I, I want to like get into stream myself. So like watching you stream with the community is like gives me that. It's almost like I learned from you the way you interact with your community. It's almost like how I want to do with the Twitter spaces as well, or like just overall because just your hand to hand, like, hey, what's up? How you been? Talk to me, and then you give feedback, and then just like just watching. So being here, like in the community, like just being a senior moderator now, and just like like 2022. So like I keep telling my wife, like, babe, our retirement set. I, I, <laughs> I just like it's. I want to get into money, but Jesus, like. Like this Web three and like what we're gone like these early and like these these builders and like these innovators and pioneers like those that come in early like they see that vision and they're taking advantage and they're like they're networking again they with each other like yo we we can make some serious some 100%. serious like, serious move here and history's history is literally being rewritten right now like we're gonna look back at like damn like, hey grandpa what were you doing back before <laughs> blockchain and technology so like this 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 moment right now this 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 opportunity that we have right now is something that we should be looking forward to or like yeah let me those that want to make money gonna make money and then just tie your emotion to money but those that are really serious about building in the space and getting to know each other and what can we actually do because blockchain technology allows us to give us so like hey we have the same vision like let's find a developer let's get artists let's get so many traits on that that we can actually build our own team and we could do this if we're actually serious so um, thank you again so much for having right. me on. I mean, it is it is honestly an honor to be here for to just talk to you guys and like get to like get my face out. I mean, nobody really looks at my face except my pictures. But other than that, I mean, just being here with you guys and just talking and just knowing where we're going in the, in the next couple of years just really excites me. And like it really, awesome. it's really what what gets me open. Like get to what helps me wake up in the morning like yo like it's gonna be another good day because you learn you do learn something new every day i I gotta say i love your attitude like i absolutely love your attitude it's contagious your smile your beauty i love it man like your personality and your and your and i love that i love it i love it i love it man uh you're gonna make it buddy i'll tell you right now man you have the right attitude for it you have the right you know you have the right mindset i love that i want to say right now man look look i want to i want you to look right now at stefan's background right now man in five years take a screenshot take a screenshot in five years dude he's gonna be doing this from a beach somewhere with a on a balcony somewhere with his big boat sitting over there somewhere listen oh, man, man. Uh, you have the right mindset the right attitude yeah, i have to scale down i have to scale down to get that bigger vision <laughs> being here like cooped up i call it my dungeon my gog dungeon my call it, my wife called it the harry potter closet <laughs> So I mean, like, it's my dungeon. So like, I'll be on my dungeon. So, but when I'm in here, like, this is like, like, I, I can really focus, cause, you know, I'm a, I'm a, st- I'm a stay at home dad. I got a, I got, I got four kids. I got a toddler running around. So I, I do have, and I'm a man. I mean, I'm a, I'm a family man. So my family does come first. But when I'm in here. Yep. Is like this is the space. This is the space I need to awesome. roll to that bigger picture. That I feel you on that a hundred, my friend. Thank you again for being and thank you again for the kind words. Uh, you know, listen, if you ever have any questions about streaming or you want to get involved, let me know. I can help you out, my friend. No problem. I got you. Um, yeah, so uh we could definitely help you out, man. I can definitely help you out. So uh thank you for coming on here. You know, again, a big part of our community, big part of the community. We love we love you, man. We appreciate everything you do. And uh I'm, I want to say thank you again for coming on. Uh WT with the beautiful mustache, always love Looking good. He's getting. He's getting. Listen. He is getting better looking every time, man. But look, listen. This guy is gonna be doing Vogue shoots. Caitlin, hook him up, man. Caitlin, hook this man up right here. Get him on the cover of Vogue. Get him, you know, uh, some Prada wa- walkways, dude. I'm telling you, man. Caitlin's got the hookups. Yo, talk to. Yo, get him on there. <laughs> I need a shovel. I need a shovel. It's getting deep in here. All right, brother. Guys, thank you so much, both of you guys, for doing this. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, make sure you check out Steph Fam's uh, socials, WT Socials, my socials. I'm going to put it all in the description below. Uh, check him out on the Twitter spaces. He's, he's, you know, he's a great talker. You heard it here. Um, you want to you want to pay attention. You want to listen, man. The guy knows what he's talking mm-hmm. about. All right. So I'm out of here. We're out of here. You bunch of beauties. We love you. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.